And then what happened? And then I asked Mrs. Lennox if I could read my history essay in front of the class. You asked? Yeah, it went over really well. How come I didn't see you there, Carl? I got lost in the hallways and ended up in the boiler room again. <laughs> Rough first month. Anyways, what I miss? The usual Mrs. Lennox kookiness. She brought her cats in, dressed up as historical figures. Cleocatra was cute. <laughs> she must be the weirdest history teacher in history. Oh. <laughs> That's really gross. Why does this always happen to you? I think you're gonna have to use a hose and a stick again. Come on. At least she didn't fall in it like last time. This has to be a mistake, Dr. Kasabi. It's not, Porter. As an angel in training, you've been assigned Carl Montclair, case number 4450842. You're only giving this to me as my first assignment because the boss is still mad at me. <laughs> yeah, the whole infamous Mohawk while he was sleeping prank thing. Everybody thought it was funny. I even saw you laughing. <laughs> as I was saying, if you want your angel wings, you have to make Carl Montclair the most popular kid at his high school. You'll never pull it off, Porter. This kid is totally unlucky. But there's no way you can make him popular. You know what? I can make any kid popular. It'll be a cakewalk. OK. Carl Montclair is all yours. What happens if I need your help down there, Dr. Kasabi? Easy. I'll be the school's new guidance counselor. Great. Good luck, Porter. <laughs> Did you guys just see that? See what? That kid just appeared out of nowhere, right on the street. Oh, come on, Carl. You want me to believe he just teleported here? There was nothing there, and then he was here. I mean, who is he? And look, he's going into my house. Why is he going into my house? Let's give it one more shot. Let's give it everything we got. If we get it right, we will surely conquer the world. Hey. I got my wings from an angel. Now we're winning it all the time. I'm giving wings to an angel. something to drink. Yes, gobsmacked juice. Oh, turn the page. Uh, is that girl sunburned or is that red paint? Sunburned. No. <laughs> oh, what about that one? That's where Carl got stuck inside his parka. Still not sure how that happened. <laughs> Can I get a hand here? <laughs> Carl is such a dweeb. Hello, I am in the room. Oh, Carl, honey, you're not a dweeb. You're just a little unlucky. Why does everyone keep telling me that? So you don't think you're such a dweeb. Becky, apologize to your brother. Sorry. I have to make fun of Carl. It's a little sister's job. And you've been putting in a little too much overtime. What can I say? I love my work. Hey, Carl. Nice to see you again. Again? Who are you? This is your cousin Porter from Vancouver. You met him last summer. I've never met this guy in my life. Of course you have. He's your cousin. You know, the son of Uncle Whatchamahoosit. Yeah, our uncle, the one who always did that. Car thing. Right, and he had that big <laughs> factory yeah. thing with the outdoor thing that went. <laughs> 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 I think sure was funny. You know what's funny? I just saw this guy fall out of the sky. And right into our laps. And until his dad's job transfer goes through, he'll be staying with us. So, why don't you show Porter your room? Why? You are so full of questions today. Because that's where he'll be staying, silly. I've been training angels for as long as I can remember, and I don't think I've ever met one as reckless as Porter Jackson. <laughs> remember when he replaced your halo with that honey glazed donut? Now that was a delicious prank. Took me a week to get the icing out of my hair. Okay, uh, you'll have to take the top one because I tend to fall out when I sleep up there. Yeah, Becky told me something with a helmet to you in nine. Okay, look, I wore that helmet because I was just really into hockey. All right. Why don't we take the top bunk down and just rearrange the room? Ah, no. This is my room. It's fine the way it is. It took me years to get it like this, so. OK, Carl. Where should I uh, hang my stuff? What stuff? <laughs> oh! Where'd that come from? OK, look, whatever. Uh, you can have half my closet space. 
I come home, all of a sudden I'm here in the room. That's not right. How does that happen? Do ah! you like it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like what you don't want the place. I don't know. No, I don't. What is going on? How did you trick my mom and my sister? Because I don't have an uncle from Vancouver with the car thing and the funny thing that goes blah, which is apparently hilarious. What is going on here? You should sit down. No, thank you. I'll stand. Surprise! Ah! No, I haven't told him yet, Dennis. Get out of here. Fine, fine. If you need me, I'll be checking out their garbage. That raccoon was talking! Hey, I'm a raccoon minion, kind of like an angel's helper. Not exactly 100% raccoon, but I'm pretty close. Who are you? I'm your guardian angel. Actually, I'm an AIT. An AIT? Angel in training. I've been sent here to help you become the most popular kid at Bandit High. <laughs> Ooh, hook. Uh, well, uh, I hope you're not offended, but maybe you wouldn't mind proving it, because you'll have to admit, that's nutso! All right. Oh. Hey, lone angel wings. Yeah, I don't get real wings to tell I'm a full angel. <laughs> oh, I've seen that so many times before, it never gets old. <laughs> Bet you haven't seen that before. <laughs> Oh, hey, Principal Malone. Hey, Carl. You've got five minutes to get to class. Thanks for the heads up. No problem. Hey, Tara, don't be late. Off you go to matriculate. Hey, you, no running in the halls unless you're being chased by a monster. Just kidding, there are no monsters. No, 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 no cell phones in the hallway. Let's put those away. Seriously, let's say goodbye. Thank you. See you guys. Oh, watch it, Sardine. Sorry about that, Serge. Called Carl Sardine. Just came into my head. Pretty good, huh? Just like that. Last week in gym class, Carl was looking kind of wiggly. About an hour later, I was like, hey, check out the Carlamander. But uh, it was too late because it was home by then. Carl Montclair! Did you know that you share your name with a famous monk? Ichabob H. Montclair. <laughs> Did you ever think about getting into monking? Nope, but I will now, thanks. Oh, good. <laughs> Isn't it called monkery? Oh, no, no, it's monking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hey, Jane. I gotta talk to you. Make it fast. I'm late for class. You're not gonna believe this. Take a look over there. What? The new guy? Isn't he your cousin? Well, did he trick you, too? No, he's pretending to be my cousin. He's not, though. He's actually a Mongolia. What? No, a Jalakia Pola, yeah, 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 yeah. He's a Pia Koya Sivaya. I can't say it. I am sharing my room with a plop, plop, sleepy plop. I don't have time for this, Carl. I have assignments to do, and I still have to come up with an article for the school newspaper. Oh, I thought you were uh, doing it on the basketball shootout. No, my editor said it's a foregone conclusion that Serge is going to win. Again. Mainly because no one's willing to play against them. I'm thinking of having my name legally changed to Swish. So, my editor told me I have to write about Britney's party. Uh, slow news day, huh? She says gossip's the only thing keeping newspapers in business these days, but it's a waste of my talent. I don't know, man. I hear Britney's parties are pretty sweet. Oh, give me a break. I am a legitimate high school reporter. I don't do fluff pieces on airheads. I do hard-hitting exposés on crises in the cafeteria. Yeah, I like the way you peel back the bun on the contents of the Sloppy Joes. Who'd want to go to her party anyway? Who'd want to go to her party? Brittany thinks she's all that. Just because she's really pretty, popular, and all the boys adore her. OK, maybe she is all that. And maybe I'm a little bit jealous. But well, I have one thing she doesn't have, this thermos. Brittany may be hot, but so is my suit. Who is that cute guy? He must be new. I've got to invite him to my party. Two more minutes till the bell. Hi, Principal Malone. Hello, Brittany. Hey, if you need any help taking this new student to his class, I'd be happy to help. Oh, that's Porter Jackson. He just transferred here. You could take him to Mr. Nakamura's class. Sure thing. So you're the new guy, Porter, right? That's right. Well, it's your lucky day because I'm, wait for it, Brittany. And I'm inviting you to my party tomorrow night. Just think of it as the welcome wagon, making you feel welcome. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. 
<laughs> I just need a second. Yeah, walk with me, Porter. <clears throat> oh, just fantastic. It's been one day. You already got an invitation. That's awesome. I can't say the word angel anymore. You just did. Oh, you know what I mean. You put some kind of spell thing on me, didn't you? Well, I can't have you running around telling people I'm an angel. That's just not cool. I wasn't running. I was walking at a brisk pace. Listen, you're the only one who's supposed to know about me. If my secret got out, this just wouldn't work. Uh, um. I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, Carl. Who is that guy? Uh, that's uh, Carl Montclair. He's my cousin. <laughs> hey, nice office, Dr. Kasabi. Ah, look, it's a lovely breeze. So, uh, you like being the guidance counselor so far? Eh, that's not my dream job. Well, maybe one day you'll get to drive a subway train. Oh, until then, I have my fantasies. <laughs> Clear the doors, please. Boop, boop. <laughs> so, how are things going with Carl Montclair? Well, he seems to be settling into the whole guardian angel thing. Great. That's what I like to hear. So, what are you planning to do about his popularity problems? First, I'm going to try and give Carl a confidence boost. Ah, well, don't forget this. <laughs> Ah, the angel textbook. Yeah, light read, huh? <laughs> like I haven't heard that before. Now, this book will tell you how to and how not to use your angel magic. It's a complete manual for angels in training. Great. Thanks, sir. People say something is the best thing since sliced bread? Uh-huh. Well, what did they say before that? Did they just say, hey, that's the best thing since bread? Because your life would be pretty boring if bread was special. Alex is sort of, well, I guess you can say that he marches to the beat of his own drum. Although, he does know the name of every capital city in the world. True, and he can speak Swahili. I guess it's best to just say, he's, he's Alex. Alex. Oh, gotta go. Hey, Montclair. Oh. Are you one of those people that hate sports or athletes? Or do you just hate basketball? I don't hate basketball, Serge. No? Then why would you mock everything I hold sacred? I really do not know what you're talking about. I have it on good authority that you signed up for the basketball shootout. I didn't sign up for that. Sure you did, Carl. I saw you do it. Look, don't listen to him, all right? He's a flying All right, nothing wrong with that. We welcome all people into this country. Hello, friend. You're welcome here. Ni hao. I've devoted a major part of my life to honing and perfecting my b-ball skills, and now it's lesson time. You and me, a basketball court, mano a mano, four o'clock. Uh, I've got a uh, origami club at four, yeah. See, we were meant to make paper cranes, but I'm getting kind of sick of it. All right, fine, five o'clock, mano Yeah, -mano. I got it, mano a mano. Yeah, I know you got it, a mano. All right, if I'm gonna make you popular, you need to be quiet about this whole origami thing. All right, forget the origami thing, all right? I need to practice basketball. I'm ready when you are. I have been practicing for two hours and I haven't gotten any better. I thought you said you were my guardian angel. Why would you sign me up for a competition? I have no chance of winning. <laughs> I see why they sent me to help you. You need to have confidence here, in yourself and in me. Yeah, well, that's easy for you to say, Porter. You're an angel. Angel in training. You know what you need? You need a pep talk. Huh? Where am I? What just happened? Hey, Randy, how's it going? Porter, I should have known it was you. Is this the new guy? Carl, me? Randy Foy. You're, you're in the NBA. This is incredible. He needs some help with his basketball skills. So you want to learn how to do this. It's easy, Carl. There's one little secret. You have to believe in yourself. Have you seen the size of my freakishly small hands, Randy? Enough with the negative talk. You just have to go out there and do your best, OK? I'll try. Thanks, Randy. Serge is going to be here soon. OK, Porter. You better get me back. I was right in the middle of practice. Thanks, Randy. Believe in yourself. Let the b-balling begin. I don't know if I can do this, Jane. Any advice? Sure, Carl. 
You have to bounce the ball on the ground when you're walking around with it. That's called dribbling. I know you're joking, but honestly, thank you for the reminder. Hey, considering you're gonna lose, would you mind losing so bad that it's worth writing a story about? No, that I can do. Hey, Alex, good to see you. Did you come to see me totally humiliate myself? Yep, and I brought carrot snacks. Hey, Carl, get over here. How do you think Carl's gonna do? I'm an expert in losing, and he's gonna lose bad. Hey, 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 can anyone see you? Why, are you embarrassed to be seen in public with me? Well, that's a separate question, but you know what I mean. Don't worry about it. No one can see or hear me. I'm in stealth mode. <laughs> I don't have a single angel power, but I can make myself invisible anytime I want. I also have raccoon powers, like an incredible sense of smell. And I can eat anything I want, except jalapenos. They make me gassy. Oh, excuse me. Look at Porter, huh? You've got to give him credit for jumping in as fast as he did. <laughs> Most AITs take a few weeks before they, they really get the lay of the land. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Not Porter. No. Hey, Montclair, let's do this. You are going down. I think this means I'm watching you. You're going down, Carl. First to 21 wins. I'm so dead. Hi. That's not good. That's not good. Mm. Want the ball? Want the ball? Want the ball? <laughs> How does he deal with the humiliation? He's been practicing his whole life. All right. Oh, this is so boring. I could be at the mall shopping right now or trying on clothes I don't plan on buying. Hey, you know what you could do. What? <gasps> Should I do a cheer? That always gets everyone going. Or how about this? Whoever wins, you invite to your party. That'll get things going. That is so cool. It would be like giving back to the little people. Exactly. Listen up, everybody. Quiet in the back. I just had the best idea since bread. Whoever wins the shootout gets to come to my party. What you got? Better not be steroids. What's the score? 20 to 20. Next shot wins. <laughs> what are you doing, Porter? I'm helping Carl. Well, not like this. What, are you going to follow him around his whole life, making everything easy for him? I'm supposed to make him the most popular kid in school. That's what I'm doing. You're supposed to encourage and give him direction. This is unacceptable. All right, after this one last shot. No, 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 no. You're not helping Carl's confidence by letting him win. Your powers stop now. But no, you are cut off until tomorrow.
actually lost at a sport? It's not possible. Yeah! You won it, man. Way to go, Carl! I guess I'll see you at my party then, Calvin. Just Calvin, Carl, whatever, man. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll be. Good game, Montclair. Thanks, man. Yeah, good one. So you really didn't use any of your angel magic to help my last shot? Not even a little. That last shot was all you. Wow, I must say I'm a little impressed with myself. You know, you're a good influence, Porter. Before you came, I'm not sure if Carl would have entered a basketball shootout or gone to a party. Thanks, Mrs. M. I still don't understand how you could have won that shootout with your tiny, tiny hands. Yeah, well, having my cousin around isn't half as bad as I thought it'd be. Thanks, Carl. Have a good time, guys. And don't do anything I wouldn't do. What? You mean, like, don't show up to the party without my blankie? Ooh. Don't wait up for me. Gotcha. What's the hold up here? We've got a party to go to. I thought you weren't going to go. Well, I'm working on an article for next week's paper on modern youth, demonstrating the propensity to. Yeah, right. Oh, who am I kidding? It's going to be an awesome party. Oh, dude, do you think there will be a pinata? Oh. There will be one now. Oh, boy. You are going to make things interesting for me, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs>